Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Iron Man, of course. In this comic, he's Iron Man, but I took it out because that is the armor where Jim Rhodes ultimately becomes War Machine. And um, I thought that was a good representation the first time I had seen that armor, so I was pretty excited. But today, what I'm going to talk to you about is the 80-year Marvel, Le oh, the 80-year Marvel Legends Iron Man, which I think is really cool, and it's a take back to those comic books that I feel like I remember reading and running down to 7-Eleven on the spin rack and wanting to read. It's Tony Stark, who is not Robert Downey Jr. A couple, couple of different face plates here, heads with different face plates. So I love these two. I love these two discs on the side of Iron Man because they're really used in this episode where it's Iron Man versus Iron Man. Uh, Tony Stark in the old uniform grabs the disc off of Jim Rhodes' um, side. He takes it down, does his little quick mechanics on it, and then once Jim Rhodes gets it back and throws it back on his armor here, he's immediately immobilized, and that's how Tony Stark's able to eat, defeat Jim Rhodes. So this is a total callback to the comics that I remember and that I read, and this is the version of Iron Man that I think is the one that's for me. Now, one of my favorite, favorite issues of the Invincible Iron Man is this one where it's Iron Man versus Doctor Doom. So the coolest thing about getting this version of Iron Man is recently, if you remember, I was able to pick up the, Black, uh, the Marvel Legends Doctor Doom. I did a review on it. It looks really fantastic. So now I have Doctor Doom from this issue and Iron Man, which is the representation from this issue. And this is the issue where both Tony Stark, Iron Man, and Doctor Doom are transported back in time into King, Ar King Arthur's time, and they end up like having to help each other so they can get back to our current time. So what I like to do is open the box. Well, let's just take a closer look at the box. Of course, it says Marvel 80 years. It's in the nice square box. It's got some nice artwork on the side. And on the back, it has a different piece of artwork. It looks really kind of cool. It's really soft. It's really glossy. It's got a really good shot of Iron Man there. And um, it's got uh, some information about Iron Man. So let's open this figure up and take a closer look at it. Okay, now that we finally got Iron Man out of the package, let's take a closer look. So his accessories are, he comes with two fist hands, one that's on him, one this one, and two Repulsar firing hands. So he, they're going to be in this up position. They don't have a, any flexibility at all with them. They're just pegged permanently in that position. You can rotate it, but that's about it. So the fist has the little, the fist has the little peg movement so you could actually, you know, bend the fist in or out. It comes with two different heads for Iron Man. One's kind of a newer look, one's kind of an older look. I'm gonna leave this one on because this is the one that I think is the one that reminds me most of the comics that I was reading. I'm gonna set that aside. And he also comes with the Tony Stark head, which is actually really, really cool, right? So he's got that nice mustache on him, and he reminds me of the way that they portrayed, really, um, Howard Stark in the movies. So anyways, this is traditional Iron Man, right? We got his armor. We got the, the chest recharger or repulsor because he used to have to plug himself in to recharge, and he's got that nice gold arm gold on his arms his face and his legs and then he's got these boots that have this like riveted look to them and this to me is just like the mego this is just like the mego iron man that i would have remembered having as a kid with the soft goods in this exact uniform except for it wasn't gold it was yellow it was like a bright yellow but these are the uh, the shorts that he had with the rivets in him. He had these two pieces right here, which you saw in the comic, which was awesome. So this guy's got a full range of flexibility, a little bit greater, right? He's got the uh, 90 degree arm bend, 
maybe a little bit more because I can get that secondary bend up, so a little bit more. And he's got the good knee joint. Forward, backwards, his head is not on a ball, so he's not gonna have too much head tilt, except for that one little. And then uh, back and forth, down and up. Let's pull it off so we can see how it's connected. So it is a ball there, but it's hooked onto the neck on a pivot. So that's why you don't get too much of that head tilt in there. I'm not gonna stick any of the heads on. I'm just gonna wrap up this review with Iron Man in his glory here. And I'm gonna, basically I'm gonna pit him against Dr. Doom, and I'm gonna show you what I mean in a, so I'm gonna set him up, I'm gonna get these guys posed, and then we're gonna rock out of this video so we can move on to other things. Okay everybody, thanks for tuning in, I really appreciate it. Hope you come back for more. This is Iron Man and Dr. Doom, ripped from the pages. Have a great day.